Well, I'm sure he expected to hit the reds there. Found the gap between them. And a, a little unfortunate to go in off in the middle pocket. And this is a chance now for Nigel Bond. be able to push this red over the right corner pocket just trickle the green in well he's pushed it over the left corner but and that will do pink may be available into the left middle and he might be able to leave this in such a way as to play the cannon to the four reds I think he's pulled that cue ball back enough. Needed to come back another inch. I think he's just about hard enough to come onto the brown. And he's got a nice angle on the brown to be able to go into those four reds. Not too hard. And not quite thick enough. Needed a fuller ball contact. Well, it's been nip and tuck so far, a few mistakes on either side. Marco Fu, coached in Hong Kong by Wayne Griffiths, who son of Terry Griffiths, former world champion. Of course, Terry uh, advises a lot, of, a lot of players, most notably, of course, at the end of last season, Barry Hawkins, who got to the world final. I wonder if he taught him that one. Yeah, as I was just about to say. He played a good cue ball, though. And that's what he did play. Didn't play the pot. But a chance to play a good safety or a snooker. Well, up behind the yellow and using the brown. Looks favourite. He could land up behind the green, but his touch would have to be good. Well, again, he didn't play that. He played the safety. And he's got a pretty good shot. Be careful of the double kiss here. Well, 
I don't know if the, the noise put him off there, but there was a loud clatter from somewhere. Well, he just still played the same shot, and the double kiss was always on, and he found it. So a chance now for Nigel Bond. It's a huge arena, this is six tables, and there are a lot of people in this evening. Nigel's considering playing for the pink and if one of those two reds goes it may have been worth playing for them hard to tell from this commentary position if that red does go to the right corner it looks like it does but he's right behind the shot I think he'd played to disturb them and he hasn't played it well well he came very close there to being right up behind that pink Can he see them? I'm not so sure if he can. He would have just played off them by now, surely. It must be very tight, this. The problem is, even if he can see them, he's going to be leaving a shot on to the right corner. You can't hide the cue ball behind the yellow. He needed to get that cue ball closer to the cushion. And he's left a chance at this red. sure what he played there I think he, he may have played the pot if he played the safety well he's caught it all wrong He's got no option here but to play the cannon to the red. And he just doesn't know how he's going to connect to it. He'd love to be able to screw past the red, play the cannon to the pink, which would leave him on the red, but I don't think he's got the angle to play that shot. No, it's just the cannon. But he's given himself a chance here. Wouldn't need the pink or black. If this red goes in, chance of winning this frame.
Well, I don't think he played the double in, especially at that speed, but I think he's been fortunate getting the snooker. Very nearly dropped in. Well, what a great chance now for Nigel Bond to take this first frame. Yes, Marco Fu uh, has not looked uh, too impressive, frankly, in this frame, which is a concern for the reasons I stated earlier. need the green and the brown. Well, it's taken a few chances, but it uh, looks like Nigel Bond is going to win this opening frame. You've been watching snooker a while. I know you'll find it hard to believe that he's one of the oldest players on the circuit now, Nigel, but he is at the age of 47. Still a tough match player. And he's won the opening frame here. Marco Fu did have a few chances, but it's the Englishman who claims first blood here in Wushi. 1-0 he leads. We're back very shortly with frame two. <laughs> 